Breaking news now, uh, the SoCal skyline, it was lit up pretty briefly overnight. You might have seen this, uh, the return of four International Space Station crew members splashed down off San Diego. Mario's live with more on NASA's first medical evacu mm. evacuation of a sick crew member. Mario. Yeah, that's right. Unprecedented, as you said, NASA calling this the first time a U.S.-led spacecraft has been cut short because of medical issues. And we saw that safe landing or safe splashdown, as we're calling it. Take a look. Just before that, you may have seen this in the night sky off the coast, that bright orange streak ripping across the sky and the fiery plasma trail marking the return of SpaceX Crew-11 coming back to Earth more than a month early after one astronaut became ill while on the space station, the tail end of their journey home. NASA stressing this was not an emergency, but they wanted the astronaut back on Earth as quickly as possible for proper medical care. And we watched that middle of the night splash down in the Pacific off the coast near San Diego as rescue boats rushed in to very carefully dock the capsule. Well, during a post return news conference, NASA wouldn't say which crew member got sick or what caused it, citing medical privacy. Take a listen. We're bringing the crew to a medical facility in the San Diego, you know, off the San Diego area. And so the crew will stay there. Um, they'll stay there overnight, and we expect to bring the crew back to Houston on Friday, obviously pending the medical. NASA astronaut Zena Cardman, the commander there with NASA's Mike Finke, Japan's Kim Yayu, and Russia's Oleg Plotinov. One by one, they emerged from the capsule to be medically evaluated. That, that mission initially began back in August, but it now ends leaving the space station with just three astronauts on board. The next crew currently targeted for mid-February. And if we come back out here live, we're at SpaceX headquarters. That Falcon 9 rocket you see there standing tall, the same type of rocket that launched Crew-11 into space back in August. And it's a reminder that the very system that brought them up safely brought them back here overnight. For now, that's the latest here in Hawthorne. I'm Mario Ramirez. We'll send it back to you. All right, Mario, thank you.